Hello. Majestic. It's Dark Souls 2 again. Yeah. And, now, and Gabriel's playing because it's his it's his turn to have a go at the Rotten's big, fat, juicy bod. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Not that way. This is full of that goo that hurts me or wrecks my weapons, isn't it? it well, there's a whole bunch of shit. Just uh, go out there and make for the make for the fog door and try not to get poisoned. And uh, make a right towards right. the fog door. Okay, well I couldn't remember precisely. Oh, I told. I said specifically not to do yeah, that. I tap. I held. I fucking put my finger on B. Pushed B. Held it. Was holding forward. Nothing happened. Well, don't complain to me, man. You're about to die because you didn't unpoison yourself. Well, that didn't last long. Na 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 na. Now then, you may have noticed during the week we did a little video in which we read aloud the Eye of Argon. That was fun. But since there isn't much of it left, I figured we'd just finish it off here and now. So we'll just read out half a page each time we die. How does that sound? Sounds good to me. Uh, there you go. Starts at chapter seven. Ah. Uh. With wobbling knees and swimming head, the priest that had lapsed into an epileptic seizure rose unsteadily to his feet. While enacting his choking fit in writhing agony, the shaman was overlooked by Grigner. Yippee, that seems like a difficult thing to overlook yeah. in the middle of an otherwise empty room. The barbarian had mistaken the seizure for the death throes of the acolyte, allowing the priest to avoid his stinging blade. The sight that met the priest's inflamed eyes nearly served to sprawl him upon the floor once more. The sacrificial sat in grim, blood-splattered silence all around him, broken only by the occasional yelps and howls of his maimed and butchered fellows. Above his head rose the hideous idol, its empty socket holding the shaman's effurbished, infuriated gaze. Infuriated, eh? Yep. His eyes turned to a stony glaze with the realization of the pillage and blasphemy. Due to his high susceptibility following the seizure, the priest was transformed <laughs> into a raving maniac bent solely on seeking vengeance. So remember that, guys. After an epileptic seizure, girls are really easy. <laughs> now now that you mind. have, yeah, you can, you can turn anyone who's had an epileptic fit basically into, like, Jason Bourne. You can just... It's a shame the fire doesn't burn him. I was going to say flowers for Algernon, but okay. Um, well, because I think he's about to become kind of like a, you know, cleric plus and fight Grigna. Man, you, uh, you're you pretty roll vulnerable, you old rotten you. <laughs> a sweeping scimitar swung. Oh, oh, that alliteration. What Get a it. gross asshole. <laughs> um, swung toward Grigna's head in a shadowed blur of motion Speaking with axe raised over his head. Speaking mm. of things swinging towards people, ow! I hate the bullshit AOEs. Okay, yeah, we, did, we, we, we didn't. We didn't. haven't they? Yeah, well, you know, we didn't program our character to have any attacks that might, you know, deal with you cuddling up real close. So instead, we'll just give him a shitty little, you know, omni fart that kind of deals with it for you. Fun fact about the rotten: you can actually chop his arms off. Oh, really? Yeah, manage both, and he gets pretty fucking helpless. <laughs> it's just kind of, hey, I'm gonna nudge you a little bit. Doop, doop, don't get greedy just because he's low. Good call. Let that da, and dead. Grigna prepared to parry the blow while gaping wide in open mouth perplexity. Okay, I think you've done more than a half page now, dude. Um, no, that's. I was probably gonna go just a little bit. Oh, I want to do a bit. Alright. At some point, you don't have to do the whole thing now. Yeah, well, well, that's... Because I'm at chapter seven and a half. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's good practice. Chap <laughs> having half chapters. There's a lot of those. Um, but yeah, that was... There was only two paragraphs, and then that's... Uh, I'm, on the, I'm on a third paragraph, so we'll call that. So, yes, that's the Rotten Dead. He was one of the big souls. Oh. So that's this section of the game done. All right. In only two videos. Blimey. Fucking blazing. Now I can go to the uh, Shaded Forest. Well, that sounds pleasant. What's this way? A hot bucket of cuddles. Is it death? Nope. Oh, petrified something. Yeah, you can give that to the crows at the start of the game. Oh uh, yeah. And here's more DLC shit that we're not interested in at present. Oh, that looks like some shenanigans. Sir, a pile of snakes. 
what have you been up to this week, Gabriel? Playing a small amount of Fallout 4 or a massive amount of Fallout 4? Um, a massive amount of Fallout 4 because it came out the day after I finished my last major assignment. Because these are the only two options, apparently. Um, yeah, well, Fallout 4 is in that, like, for the Fallout games in general, like, particularly 3 and 4, are in that uh, good category of games that I like, but I, like, you know, critically aren't very good. Yeah, I've never got why they have such a huge profile. People, like, taking out days off and stuff, calling it Fallout 4 Day. Uh, some of that's the fucking, you know, woeful geek hype machine. Yeah, I mean, when I went to the shop to buy my copy, as I am wont to do, the place was fully stocked. Hmm. Just wouldn't have needed... I, look, I looked over at a shop as I was in the city yesterday and still fully stocked. Pre-ordering was fucking pointless. When was the last time you tried to buy a game and they were actually out? Oh, um... Uh, Rock Band 4. Huh. Uh, yeah. you got the guitar and stuff edition. Yeah, that was the only one they had. Huh. Well, they had two two of the band version left that Those has all like the instruments. 300 odd dollars, aren't they? Yeah, they're like, uh... That's a pretty penny. Pricey ass. More than that, I think. Right, so we've dealt with... Uh, what waited for us below that hole. Ooh, mm. better level up. Because I'll say, kind of like, all the stuff that people complain about with Fallout, they are perfectly valid complaints. But I have got a personal fucking hard on for like that kind of 70s American post apocalyptic crap. So. Okay. I just love that nonsense to death. Uh. You like Bioshock much? Yeah. Health. And. I love the first Bioshock. More vitality. I even didn't mind the second. And even more vitality. More! And endurance. Alright. Let's see if I can put on some better armor now. Actually, um, we've got some twinkling titanite, don't we? I think so, yeah. So that means we can upgrade our Dranglech mail. Because Fallout 4 is just Fallout 3 with some of the mods attached. Um, and sort of fixed a little so it doesn't crash constantly. I don't know, I've been hearing things that it, like, pe I've heard people go, this is crashy as fuck. I have had one in the entire time I've played. Well, I've been playing the console version. I've had some bugs, though. Oh, Mainly like... like uh, minor ones like subtitles not going off screen and stuff. See, I haven't. I, I've had none of that. My entire experience was sitting here thinking to myself, "Oh wow, this is like the most stable Bethesda fucking thing I've ever played." And then you know I go on the internet every now and again and see people going, "Ah, fucking buggy as shit." So I don't know. Maybe I just got lucky this time. I'm graded my Dranglaic mail twice. Deal with it. Ah, oh, fucking Christmas. Uh, okay. What's it do now? Now we've uh, got sixty-three point two. Oh, rock and roll. So we can put on some nicer trousers. Because I mean, how about some hide night leggings? Mmm, mmm, yummy. This Look is at that. Lance. Yeah, this is with the lance as well. Got on my fancy pants. Yes. Suave. Just, they, they just call me Mr. Fancy Pants. That is my name now. Wow, motherfucker. Were we wearing a helmet? No, we took it off because right. it was too heavy. But you know, as long as we got fancy pants yeah. and fancy jumpers, that'll all defend the head. Yes. So we're heading this away. Ah. Um, because yeah, like Fallout, the Fallout 3 mods added the settlements thing, they added the sprint, um, factor, they, you know, pretty much all the other things are added. Survival mode's kind of piss weak, because all it does is change the enemy damage and make the healing items affect you slower. There's no sleep, um, food or drink necessity, which I think... Oh, that's, that's bullshit. Yeah, because that was why I picked it, I was like, ah, I want the real experience. And well, none of that's, that's, there. that's usually termed hardcore mode rather than survival mode. Uh, well, yeah, but is there a hardcore mode? Um, no. There's it's very hard, but I think very hard is still just it's 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 just mods to that, um, which is kind of baffling. I've gotten really like one thing that's I'm just turbo enjoying is the way um, the, the way crafting sort of engaged all the crap you find. Glad to meet a new enemy friend. Ooh, what's that about? It's uh, dudes with big bollocks. Oh, okay. I'll just wait for them. You want to be careful of those. Look at yeah. those. Look at that big bollock on that bike. Do that your balls bollock. hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? That's... You're gonna want to go to a doctor. The, that is... Is he... that gonna burst or something? So do you subscribe to the Farmer in the Dell melody for Balls Hang Low or the Sailor's Hornpipe? Um, I lean more towards the Sailor's Hornpipe. Do your balls hang low? Can you swing them to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Whereas you were singing Farmer in the Dell. 
Do your balls hang low? Can yeah, that's see? that's the ones. That's the one that I've heard. I, I have heard both. I I will admit that I think the quicker ones sort of the, the quicker pace suits it a bit better. I think, but I, you know, um, it's just one of those things where well, the the beauty of the sailor's horn vibe. Ow! How did the, <laughs> how did that explode? I rolled into it. I fucking rolled. That was great. Ta -da. <laughs> what the? We've just uh, unstatutified someone. Oh. Hey. Oh. All right. There's more of these lads. And maybe back into a thing where you can bottleneck them. <laughs> we're the Drang Lake Scrotal Appreciators Society. And we don't like being made fun of. <laughs> they even the? have the funny waddle walk. Oh, it's like me in summer. You want to help me out, mate? <laughs> yeah. Are you, what if one of them hits him? If like, you're not if... too busy, maybe. With your enormous glowing sword of probably righteous... I, no, that I one's would, not hitting you. That's I would nice. not be surprised if if they attack him, then... He, he just attacks, attacks you. He attacks you, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah get all that cum out of your lungs. <laughs> People have just been face-fucking this statue for ages. Alright, you've had a moment. No, no, no. Um... Thank you so yes. A woman saying she's fine. That means everything's not fine. What? Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. I'll put it with the others. Yeah, this is the weird thing about this character. You can uh, dress them up how you want. You, can, you give them your spare armor that you're not using. Give her the weird face helmet. I don't think you wear put on a helmet if you give her one. Oh. So what do we want? I don't know, whatever crap. Tunic seems nice. Prisoner's tatters? Some really heavy armor. Does she thank you for the prisoner's tatters? I don't know. Let's, you know, let's give her the thing we showed up in this game wearing, just for laughs. <laughs> Rosabeth. Sounds like a hillbilly name. Um... Go find Rosabeth! Imported trousers. Had to get them from Japan. Because <laughs> they don't work on our um, Xbox. Do you want yeah, a hat? Imports. Yeah, give her, the, give her the weird face. I have my very... His name is Korean of the Fold. I was fascinated when he set out for... Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. that's fascinating. Hey, she can reinforce that pyromancy flame. Oh, we got a spot. Oh, yeah, we have. Yeah, that's good. Now apparently the the dark pyromancy flame that we're using gets more powerful the more hollow we are. So hey, quids in. Yeah, we do spend a lot of time quite hollow. We certainly do, because we got that ring that, d that keeps our health loss to seventy five percent. Ah, oh, God bless that ring. Let's see what you got on you, Missy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is fireball different from what we already had. Nah, fire orbs just like more powerful. Okay. Uh, flash sweats good situationally, but uh, yeah, I'm not that bothered. I'm very happy for this kid. After I change into this. Hmm. Yeah, you and everyone else, lady. It seems to be the one safe place. Well, yeah. Can't think why. Yeah. We'll just watch out for the killer piggies around the side of the house and the skeletons <laughs> in the basement. Well, no one goes in there. Hmm. Hey! Cheeky. I wonder how that lady got turned to stone. Oh. I wonder what his plan was. <laughs> Hi! I'm your guide to- Ow! Fun fact about these monsters, these, uh, those big titties on their heads aren't actually eyes. Oh, are they? No, their eyes are smaller and just above their mouth. See? Mother of God! I never knew that! So those are just distracto tits? Yeah. Huh. It, you know, it goes, hey, why don't I give him a good old flapping and then turns you to stone? Ah, uh, Tricky. I'm always getting Ow. fooled by things like that. Oh, hey, bonfire. Oh, cool. Oh, what's Of that? questionable necessity, I'd say. Never look a gift bonfire in the sword. Guess not. Is that dude back now? Yeah, he is. Ooh. Surprise! <laughs> you and your creepy head boobs. Surprise, mofo. Well, now that we're discussing monster designs, 
Yahtzee, what kind of monsters would your Silent Hill be populated with by King Hattus or Hattus? Hmm. Well, of course, as we know... Hey, that's his last shot. As we know, Silent Hill is uh, very symbolic and creates monsters that reflect your inner darkness. Although I think some of the games kind of forgot that. <laughs> and I mean, they were just monsters. Silent Hill Homecoming, but most egregiously, was all like, hey, sexy nurses, that's what people associate with Silent Hill, isn't it? Let's put sexy nurses in a game that has absolutely no sexual themes whatsoever. Yeah, wasn't he like a returned soldier? Yeah, you were looking for your missing little brother. Yeah, so it should have been like a bunch of little Iraqi kids you killed. And unless your little brother was very into motorboats, (laughs) I don't think that sexy nurse really made as much sense as it did in Silent Hill 2, a game about disease and male sexual frustration. Yes, that's the flash card. That's what we came here for. Um, So what would yours... Well, I guess these days they might look like a thunder and lightning storm. I thought it'd be like a fusion of your parents. Yeah, they'd probably come into it. They'd probably, you know... Maybe like a a faceless monster. Mm. Or just a monster that's just a big rippling mass of faces. I I don't think you want to go too overboard with the symbolism, I find. You want to be a little bit subtle. Like, you know, all the monsters... And try to keep it to, like, horrific themes. Like, all the monsters in Silent Hill 2 are sort of based around the concept of disease. And, uh, abandonment. And, uh... Imprisonment. And male sexual frustration. Okay, so I guess they're a little bit complicated. <laughs> and that list started getting pretty well. But I think t- all mine just look like me. Well, that makes sense. And you'll be confronted with your narcissism. Mm-hmm. Has anyone conveniently died because of you being narcissistic? Because they'll be all the pawns. Um, no. I don't think, I don't think I'm Could responsible maybe, for any deaths. I mean, try to think indirectly here. I mean, try to stretch it as far as it will go. No, the closest... Because I've... Ow. I mean, I've been in situations where I've literally had suicidal people say, you have to keep me alive. And I actually managed that. So, I guess they won't be showing up. Maybe there was someone who you turned away from a bar, who then went and fell under a bus. Uh-huh. And died. Oh. And if you hadn't, if you'd let him into the bar, he wouldn't have died, because he'd just had another drink and passed out. What's that guy? I don't know, I'm killing him because I don't understand him. <laughs> you don't make sense. Interesting. <laughs> okay, I'll just leave you to enjoy your wall. He, seem, he seems fine. He knows what he's done. Um, have improvements in computer hardware actually resulted in better games? Fuck this yes, is, shit monkey. This is me... What the fuck kind of question was that? This is me, yo, till it's not. Do you honestly think games haven't been improved by the hardware improving since the Atari 2600? Then you're an ass. You know, that's exactly the kind of thing a millennial would say. Yeah. He doesn't remember having, <laughs> to, haven't, yeah. <laughs> doesn't remember having to switch from the PlayStation 1 to the PlayStation 2. Oh, lordy. Now, that was a quantum leap. Early PS1. Like, those games were fuck hideous. Isn't this supposed to be open now, game? Oh. oh. Spoke, spoke too soon. Uh, come on. There we, there's he does it. Uh, there we go. Uh, dokey. What the fuck is that guy fighting? Well... Apparently the halberd was the bad choice for it, whatever it was. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean... I mean, yeah. I mean, you can do so many different kinds of game effectively these days that you just couldn't do. Because people forget, like, things... They see retro kind of pixel art games and go, Oh, that's cute. And, like, yeah, they're kind of done in old style. But, yeah. you know, fucking... I mean, top-down shooters, GTA, uh, when it was 2D and top-down, they were nowhere near reaching their full potential until yeah. first person was invented yeah well it's a decent 3d i mean you can actually see more than about 15 feet in front of you for one thing yeah and i mean these days uh, you know hardware just means better graphics but back in back in my day it meant something <laughs> yeah more memory meant the games could be bigger and yeah. faster and all that shit larger spaces like again you know things retro looking games these days even the ones that are like retro as fuck are still the, you know, about the size of, like, 40, maybe, like, 100. Oh, yeah, like, old NES games were, like, some of them, most of them were under a meg. I mean... Yeah. You know, even really basic retro fucking games like Undertale, even if you strip the music out, they're way bigger than that. Yeah. Well, that might be because game makers shit at compression. Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's, a, that's a techie thing that I'm not that familiar with, but, um... 
you know, Shovel Knight looks retro as fuck. Hey, Pamela Hundred something meg, you know, that, that's not going to be on a NES. And now no. that, like, these ideas have filtered back to retro style games now. Like, people didn't even think that, you know, you couldn't do that shit. It was just yeah. fucking impossible. Huh. Huh. This seems like a prime opportunity. Yeah, I was just... <laughs> you ruined everything. You ruined focus Christmas. Focus on him. Focus on him. You ruined Christmas, Douglas Uppity. That was great. Eh. <laughs> Alright, none of that was quite as exciting. Well, no. As, as I'd hoped, but... You know, it worked out in the end. Um, yeah, the improvements in computer hardware of... Yeah, so fucking. I mean, I mean things, even hardware like controllers, like thumbsticks, dual thumbsticks. I mean, these days what they do is make the just uh, increase the graphical potential, so the next games in the next console become actually smaller and reduced in gameplay to allow for the bigger graphics. Then they make the games bigger again and go, oh look, look how we've innovated. Mm. We've caught up to five years ago. <laughs> I mean, I think correct me if I'm wrong here, but I think GTA San Andreas is, was still bigger than GTA Five. Um, I haven't played really any of GTA 5 yet. I'm waiting for it to come down in price. Okay. But... San Andreas had like three cities. San bitch. Andreas was huge. Like, that was... Yeah. That was a big fucking deal when it came out. But then they improved the graphics and they couldn't have a game that big anymore because the memory wouldn't allow it. Yeah, see, I'm at the point now where I'd, I'd take somewhat more basic graphics for a larger space and better draw distance. You know, like, being able to see really far, I think, is a little more interesting to me in games now than just... But, uh, eh. And all that matters to me is gameplay. And, uh, you know, visibility can help gameplay, like in Silent Hill. Um, where do we go? Not that way. Um, but yeah, hardware. I mean, yeah, it's hard to notice from these days where the variation between PS3 and PS4 and stuff is really just... Man, what an interesting patrol that guy's got. <laughs> 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 Actually, I think, I think we can only go into the Misty area at this point. Oh, okay. Misty area's a bitch and I hate it. Yeah, I... Uh, oh, this does not look fun. Yeah. I won't say what happens here, in case it takes me by surprise, or in case you have to play through it and it takes you by surprise. But it's a right bitch when it does happen. Uh, I don't like these places. Um, a higher power, gods, aliens, Galactus, whatever, has abducted one of you, and now you must prove why Earth should be spared from destruction. State your cause by Grand Falloon. Why Nefor. should I? Can I just say, hey, can I live with you? Hey, I found a head. Here's a look. Get a little... Oh. It's Vengar. <laughs> yeah, that is kind of a sorry state there, dude. Yeah, he's a, a decapitated undead guy. Um, well, I mean, the best hope you've got against Galactus is to offer to be his herald. Well, yeah. Um, have, a, have a good old chomp, Galactus. Just full of dipshit. Um, so that would be my... You know, that's, that's the best I can offer. Be your herald! At which point I'd probably go, already have, like, four. So Vengal's warning us that his body's kicking around somewhere and it's a bit pissed off. <laughs> so you might want to watch out for it. Okie dokie. This and he, is and he taking... can he can teach us the decapitate gesture. You actually, does your head come off, or do you just draw like a line across your neck? Yes, Gabriel, our head comes off. Oh, it says decapitate. Um, this reminds me of Baron Munchausen. That's. I feel like if we get the head back on the body, we can solve a lot of these problems. Um, Pumped up. What don't we need? I won't bite. Okay. Fuck, fuck! I won't bite. I will change that to decapitate. You. All right. That's not decapitate. That's slit throat. Yeah. Uh. That's what. That's the king taunt. That's uh, the uh, Colombian necktie. Um. Where are we? Yeah. So that's probably been my option. Aliens. They're probably doing it for like you know resources or other reasons that I probably can't negotiate with really. So. Well, you know that's that's. I mean, please don't is about the sum of what I'm going to manage. Well, that's a Carl Pilkington argument, isn't it? I mean, that's clearly just ignoring the parameters of the of the debate. All right. So the presumption then is that they that I'm yeah. there and they're going. You here yeah. defend the. Yeah, they're the saying right. saying say well, something. Galactus is a bad suggestion because he. Wouldn't what will do that. you say to prevent them killing you and blowing up the world? Um, I think we've made a lot of progress in the past hundred years, and I think that progress is still going. Yeah, well, um, we've mastered interspatial travel, so fuck you, interstellar yeah. travel, even. 
That really does sound like something a higher order species would say. So we got into... <laughs> just... Yeah. Mm, we do it. Yeah. yeah, we got interstellar travel. It's great. Don't you have it yet? Are you stupid? Um, well, well, again, there have to be presumptions in this. Like, Why should we have to wait for you to invent it as well? Because we should... we're sitting over here by ourselves largely where the biggest threat where we are to anything is to ourselves. So we're either going to blow ourselves up, in which case that's our problem, or we're going to get to a point where we can, like, you know, interact. Okay, but what if you what if you decide if you're that bellicose a species? What if you decide when we interact that you want to kill us all? No, nah, that's unlikely. What what are you talking about? We're just looking over the history of your planet here, and it's basically one big long story of otherization and murdering the outsider. Yeah, which is probably likely to be your history. Well, it isn't actually, because we're so great. <laughs> right, that's. Yeah, that's... Yeah, this is a planet of Rick Mails. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> what the...? That's what I was worried about happening in the forest. It's these guys who pretend to be spirits. Motherfucker! And you can't target them. Alright, well that can so just I've, fucking go jump. I've, I've never seen them come out this far from the misty area, actually. In the misty area, they're all but invisible. Oh, fuck. I don't want that. Uh. Um, I don't know. That's that's the best argument I can come up with. Is that we are at a point now. We've come very far in the past hundred years. We're we're still in a position where our biological evolution hasn't caught up to our cultural evolution. So we just need a bit more time. Okay. Well, I would say we've got chocolate. An equally good argument. We've got chocolate, and you can have some. <laughs> you can have some sweeties. Would you like some of our sweeties? Would you like some sweeties? Um, yes, we're basically murdering our entire next generation of kids with this stuff. Yeah. That's how much we like Get it. Get it in ya! What's shit. doing that? It's oh. the cursey pots. Oh shit, there's another one under the ground, isn't there? Fucking fiddlesticks. Fuck this. Oh, that's a dude, too. Bugger, 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 bugger. Bugger, Those bugger. Those cunts are not okay. Bugger, bugger, You may want bums. a mallet for this if you can't focus on them. Slip. Um, what are your thoughts on the Warcraft trailer and the possibility of it being the first legitimately good video game movie from Roland Dahlgren? What the Roland fuck Dahlgren? are you basing that on? Whatever your, whatever your stupid name was. Roald Dahl. When have <laughs> video game movies ever been good and what is it that makes you think this will be any different? I'll tell you what. Fucking trailers. Well, I, t I got news for you, Charlie. Those things are specifically designed to suck her in, twats like you. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Uh, no, it's not two, good. the animated movie was a good video game movie. Who cares? Well, just an example. Hey, oh, look. a rad scorpion. That's not a rad scorpion. That's a scorpion centaur man. Okie dokie. All right, just going to jump I down there and say hello. Oh. I love you, oh. scorpion centaur man. Give us a hug. Mm, yes. I was not expecting that to be the result. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people sort of knee-jerk attack that guy. Yeah. Look at him! There's a ring you can get that allows you to talk to him, similar to the um, spider lady in Dark Souls 1. Uh, I suppose I'm centaur, scorpion, and racist. That's my problem. Yeah. Ugh, what's that thing? Check your privilege. That's a statue of one of the enemies head crab. that hang around this area. That guy's got a head crab. If we've got a fragrant branch of yore, we can remove that. Um, yeah, there's just a lot of weird assumptions in that question. Yeah, I think it was obviously asked by a very biased person who should be ashamed of themselves. Well, I mean, look, if you're a Warcraft fan, it, you might really fucking enjoy it. Oh, for fuck's sake, that's the weakest fucking argument for all these things. Well, if you're it's... a fan of X, you'll enjoy it. Of course they will. Fans of X would enjoy an X-themed pregnancy test. Yeah. Or a well, douche. I know, but that's, I mean, again, legitimately it's an empty good. empty fucking statement. If you like this, you will, you will like this because this is in it. It's no, it isn't empty. That's a fucking statement of fact. People like shit that they fucking like. So yeah, the but it's not a pointless. fucking point. It's an obvious point. So? So why do you feel the need to say it? It's just Your a, point it's was just, just as fucking obvious. All it just, was was, oh, you like it because it's a fucking trailer and those are made for people to be suck it in. Well, That's he the other fucking didn't side realize. of fuck obvious. Well, he apparently didn't realize. Well, of course he didn't because he's a fucking fanboy. Uh, well, I think we've established that, yes. Oh. You cheeky bugger. Watching that arrow fucking coming towards you. Fuck these guys. I thought they were supposed to be in the fucking gas area. Fucking... Go back to your mist. Yeah. Um, well, I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry I lost my temper there. But uh, saying the fans will like it is for there, up there with me saying that could be good. Right, and did I throw a massive tanty when you said that, uh, you know, the fucking... You threw some kind of tanty, no. I'm still not sure why. You threw a fucking... You, I said it'll be good if you like it. You said the opposite of that, which is just as fucking obvious. You fucking chucked the shits at me. Well, now you're being tanty Oh, I know, it's almost like I, think I, we had, I think we had a mutual tanty session there. No, we didn't. All right. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. Don't tanty over that now. You got cursed earlier, but you didn't turn to fucking shit. What happened? Cursing is different in this game. Oh, okay. In this, cursing in this game just reduces your max health by a bit, just like dying once. All uh, right. Because I thought you were going to turn to that fucking weird rock thing. Thanks, message. I won't. <laughs> Um, what do you think a horror game that ignores the isolate component, uh, do you think that a horror game that ignores the isolate component could be viable? E.g. the main character lives in a big populated city, and that's where the game takes place. From Zhuan Tiang Shang Ti. Short answer, no. You can't really take the isolate out of horror, but isolation can mean several different things. Jacob's Ladder, for example, is a good mm. example of uh, someone experiencing isolation despite in it being Oop. a populated area. Yeah, alienation from the population can be a really effective source of isolation, sense and... <laughs> You're doing a rap battle now. Huh? You just said, like, you just did three, said three rhyming things. Oh. Alienation yeah. from the population can create a sense of lovely isolation. That's what you said. That was an accident. I'm just that black. Just like you. Yeah. <laughs> what was that noise? Uh, there's some giggling women in the background. I've never been sure why. Okie dokie. You just, yeah. Sure, why not? Giggling yeah. forest chicks. So, yeah, you can isolate, you can give a sense of isolation by, for example, the main character being the only person who seems to be aware that the horror's going favorites. on. Yeah, that's that one was, of my absolute favourites. That was something I explored in Trilby's Notes, as you'll recall. Um, Mouth of Madness had bits of that in it as well. Like yeah, when he's talking to the woman who runs the... Yeah, you were never sure about the woman, were you? No, and then it got a bit weird. These guys quite easily backstabbable, it seems. <laughs> I think what are they? I think they're lion men yeah. with dreadlocks. Of course. And here's a golden one. Ah. Yeah. So nothing coming in on the flank. Kill you like a dentist. Okay, he was inspecting that wall, apparently. <laughs> Fucking important wall. That wall is sacred to the lion man. Oi! Oh. They sort of remind me of Klingons. Ow. Yeah, I kind of see that. If, like, a Klingon, Klingon's head shit went, like, ape. Yeah. Like, maybe one gets a rash or something. Ape in a fairly literal sense. Um, uh, this area is great if you like rolling into shit. <laughs> Do you think there is a similarity between lawmaking and programming from Kord Sebesh? See, that's a curious question. I know nothing about programming. And I think uh, the implication there is that Kord Sebesh thinks there's a Similarity between lawmaking and programming. Yeah. This is sort of, you agree with me that this is a smart thing to say, don't you, Yati? That's what he's saying. And yes, I suppose there is. Because what the main thing they have in common is loopholes. What the... Yeah, the floor collapsed. Oh. The oh, ragdoll's that's... having a bit of a time of it. <laughs> wow. Those fucking goddamn things. Yeah, they're fucking everywhere. Ah, uh, you... Uh, who said you could have poise? Ow. Oh, these guys fuck. Yeah. I'm sure they come do. Come on, come on. No, bugger. Shit. Oh, bugger, bugger, bugger. Shit bugger. Christmas. Drinky, drinky, drinky. Yep, nice try. Right, I'm double handing you for that. Yeah, I gotcha. <sighs> Alright, so do you agree with me, Yahtzee, from Court Sebesh? Well, yeah, it's the loophole thing. If, if you don't, it's human nature. Thing. If you don't tie up all the loopholes in law, people will find. Uh, ways to exploit them. That's why legalese is such a fucking complex language. Oh. Oh, bugger, there's two of them now. Yeah, not a good... not good. Slip. Uh, that's not three of them, that just seems to be an actual spirit. Ha! <laughs> you plunge attack your friend, you stupid tool! Now, why did the Roman Empire succeed so well? Because they were coordinated. <laughs> yeah. What did, that's what we learned today, here, children, isn't it? 
Coordinated and rather remarkably open with their citizenship. Yeah, we've discussed that. Um, when do you think a realistic, in quotes, game becomes too realistic and stops being fun from Grey Twistor? Um, don't know. When it stops being fun. And that's the answer there. A personal example I'd give would be, um... Oh, God damn it! now the name of it's just flitted out of my head. Personally, I think having... Jagged Alliance. The Jagged Alliance games. Okay. They're micromanagey to an insane degree. And I got a friend that fucking loves them, but I... Uh... Yeah. Okay, I'm taking the advice of all the messages today. I'm not sure how many of these we've got left. That's, uh... No, 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 no. Part of the puzzle of this area is, uh... Being careful with your fragrant branches. How many meal. branches do we have? I'll have to check. Wow, they got poise up the earth. Yep. Boom. Whoop Um, yeah, Jagged Alliance makes you, like... You know, you can't have, like... You know, um, Algerians working with Turks and shit like that. Like, it, it's... And again, if you... For people who are that fucking obsessed with that shit, it's the greatest game ever, but it is... I don't know. It's such an extreme gameplay style that it really is only a friend of mine, and he plays online, and he plays online with a bunch of people who still seem to identify as East German. So oh, I think we might be out of fragrant branches of your, unless they're like well, unless they're in the first menu. That was that. Uh, oh no, I'm wrong. We got one oh, left. Wow. Oh, cool. Eight Faros Logstones as well. Bloody hell. So I don't know. I'd give that as an example, but. So, well, to give a more sort of general example, I always think reloading in FPSs is overrated. I mean, yeah, it's realistic. I mean, yeah. Are you a ghost? No, you're not. No, you're <laughs> not. Isn't, I don't know, but isn't like reloading part of also like management of your ability to attack? Well, but... yeah, but not every game has to have it. Oh, hey, another fragrant branch of your. Oh, neat. I guess and that's why. It's a lion outfit. Nice. Um, but yeah, but. What game? I don't know. I can't think of a game that hasn't had a reload off the top of my head. I mean, um, it was a shooter. The most recent one I can think of is Serious Sam Before First Encounter. I mean, I had it in some of the guns, but it didn't in, I think, the starting Infinite Pistol. It didn't have reload. Uh, well, it's infinite. Well, yes. I suppose I've got like a well, legend. I think, hmm? I think um, you can maybe uh, at least indulge the intention... To make things a bit more schmuppy, but from a first-person shooter perspective, make it more about dodging slow projectiles and maneuvering yourself rather than always about reloading and choosing cover and... Who are you? Oh, apparently we've met this person before. Oh, this is one of the two guys who are involved in the... Uh... The Peter Safanowitz duo? Yeah. Peter Safanowitz and the other one. Okay. Seems a bit redundant. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> That's all we, that guy can do for you. Fucking... Oh, I'm, not, I'm gonna life jam it. Where the hell did Yahtzee's do 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 come from? Oh. I've heard it in the Judging by the Cover series as well. I am wondering if it has an external source from Poseidon of the Sea. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just expressing my sympathy for that poor fellow. Yes, the song he's referring to is the one that I always seem to default to when I need to hum something. Do it again. It's do 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 Changes. To... I'm not sure what it's called or where it's from. The place yeah. I first heard it was in the game Toonstruck. Did you ever play that with Christopher Lloyd, the FMV game? I uh, Gabriel. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm trying to. I'm trying to remember if I've actually played it. Well, we've only I've seen bits of it. Okay. Okay. So there's a boss. There's a boss fight here, and if we go through the rigmarole of getting hold of the ring that lets you talk to enemies. We could go talk to that scorpion man, and mm -hmm. then we can, if we were human, we could summon him for them for this boss fight. Oh wow! But I can't be asked. So let's yeah, just give it seems a try. like a lot of hassle. Um, do I want to use my launch for this one? Uh, sure. Maybe switch to the healing stone things because you only got one Estus. Oh yeah. Um, I'm just trying to think about this boss and if this lance will be good for it. 
Ah, fuck it. Well, I'm useless for that discussion, so, okay, the answer to your question, Poseidon of the Sea, is we don't know. So it's your mission to look that up. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Huh. Huh. You're stuck in the ground, I'm gonna hit you. Ha ha ha, I'm gonna hit you and again. And here she comes. Ah! Yeah, remember, oh. that, remember that boss that was half lady, half spider? Yeah, let's Dark do that Souls again. One. Yeah, exactly, let's do the exact same thing. Ah, oh, but she's got two pokies! Oh, you want to focus damage on the human bit. Oh, so can you actually shift focus? Uh, or does it just no. what gets in the way? Yeah, the rest of it gets in the way. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, uh, I hate this spell. Uh, I might want to be further away. Ow, 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 I don't know about using that attack. No, uh, yeah, probably not the best idea. Um, what was the first game's... Come and get either me, come of... and get me. Uh, I'll probably leave it for the... Le leave the question... Ow. Oh, oh, that was a bit of a bugger. Oh, ouch. Ouch. At least she gives you time to heal up. Well, not really. Oh, nope. That's nice of her. Oh, Ooh. shit, she's doing that thing Okay, she so she's gonna be able to rupture up through the ground. Oh, 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 that looks... No. Nah. Bloody scorpions, ladies. Scorpions, ladies. Ow! Look, okay, just because one prominent scorpion lady attacks you and, like, bursts up through the ground in a rupture attack doesn't mean they all do, okay? You're That's... right, that was ignorant of me, yeah. I apologize. We know there's at least one nice scorpion person. Yeah. It's probably more of a bros before hoes situation. I mean, let's not, uh, demonize... Hey, I cut oh. off one of her legs, I didn't know you could do that. Stingers, rather. Does that count as a living scorpion? I can't remember. No, it doesn't. Because they're an arachnid. Yeah. Uh, we... <laughs> oh. I know you're going to do your thing. I know. Yeah, there it is. What it... a pair of impotent little sods we are, Scorpioness. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Oh, God, I'm killing you now. I don't care, I'm killing you now. Yes! <sighs> oh, yeah. Guess who's still at the top of the boss killing sweepstakes? The guy who's played the game before. Ye too right it is. Alright, you're doing terrible in the com competitions today. Yeah. Yes, we I'll recorded. Fail at this, like I fail. Can you not get the little dude thing up there? Are you a ghost? Yes, I think you are. No, he walked through you. Well, here's the here's the uh, hilarious thing. Actually, I'm not sure if this is still true of Scholar of the First Sin, but it was for the original Dark Souls too. Uh, if you can, you can um, get the boss to smash this tree, and oh. it drops that thing down, and that's the only way to get it. Oh. But if you uh, get it, it's just a flame butterfly. <laughs> that's all it is. That's why everyone says it's pointless. Dark uh, Souls. Dark Souls. It's my life. What was the first games life. either of you played around? What was your least favourite, subjectively, not objectively, from Bob Saget? Oosh! Subjectively, not objectively. I think you're new here. Um, of course it's going to be subjectively. How redundant. Someone liked something you did. What? Was oh. it Justin Roiland being my best friend again? No. He oh no, it's people you follow doing something. Because that's Twitter does that nice thing where it just tells you the shit that other people are doing. Oh yeah. Which is sort of pointless. Yes, I posted a tweet about Rick and Morty this week and Justin Roiland followed me. Yeah, I'm one of the big shots. <laughs> um, huh. Here we are at the doors of Pharaohs. Is there a big face in here? You should you should have a life. Oh, you you uh, you just wait and see. Is there a big face boss in here? No, there's uh. just a million big faces. And an, uh. and an elephant guard. Fucking alright. Stabs. Dab, you have a trunk, I have a trunk. But my trunk is sharp. My trunk is sharp and erect. Ha ha. I don't think he could see. That's, no. That was a mastodon, apparently. Fair enough. He thought he was an elephant, which I'm guessing is like when you mistake a Chinese person for Japanese. What do prism stones do? I, I can't know. be bothered looking it up. Alright, so do you want me to look it up? Well, we could find out looking in the inventory, couldn't oh. we? Alright, that um, that attack has a bit of lag there, Dwarfy. These guys are the same species as uh, the, Gavlan, remember him? Yeah, the him? drunk fellow you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, remember him. Uh, what the hell, let's find out what a prism stone does. Oh, first game... Emits light marks one's path. Right. That's people who get lost, who aren't me. 
first not great game I played. First one I can really... First, yeah, the first game you ever played in your whole, whole life. That's quite interesting. First one I can remember playing a Get away lot. from that fucking box. Yeah, was, um... Galaga. Galaga? Yeah, uh, is, it, is it? Galaga. Didn't, I think we had this exact same discussion once. Uh, probably. In fact, I remember clearly Time it was in circle. the uh, Brutal Doom review. Um, so Galaga then. Like the guy who smashes the watermelons. I think it's Galaga. Alright, uh, I don't know. But then, you know, I don't the really have a real strong opinion either way. My British accent leans more towards the shorter vowels in that context. Yeah, like you say vitamins, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, so that's, really weird. That's, that's really weird. That's really weird. I eat vitamins with my yogurt. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to take my vitamins with my yogurt. Now Oh that's good. Doors of Pharos is a Rat King territory. We should spend some... So, um, I, since I was so smart and joined his covenant, we're not going to get summoned all the time like we always do. Rad, um, we should maybe spend some of these souls. Like that. Oh, yeah, good point. Yeah, that's, that seems like a lot there. Mm, yes, good call. Um, yeah, so probably Galaga, because that was one I remember like aiming to play. Cause... Interesting. Well, my first games console was a Philips video pack, which was the European name for the Magnavox Odyssey. Well, see, this is, I'm talking like pre-console, like, I was the, probably about three when um, I was well, playing Galaga. Well, I never played on any arcade machines, because ah, okay. I grew up in a small town. Uh, yes, the Magnavox Odyssey, not much more than a blip in gaming history. Its, it's main claim to fame is that Atari sued it once for ripping off Pac-Man for a game I had called uh, Munchkin. <laughs> Which was basically Pac-Man, but you had little antennae. Did it look as shit as a Pac-Man on the Atari? Certainly did. Oh, that's interesting. You had a Magnavox. Yeah, Philips video pack, as um, it was called, where I was. was. And the first game I played on it might have been Munchkin, or it would have been uh, Pickaxe Pete. How old were you? Ooh, I barely remember. It must have been like five or six, maybe. Yeah, like the first console, my aunt gave us her old 2600. Um, we had that in the house. I know we had that in the house that I lived in before I was five, so well, I've been around four. I remember um, uh, Pitfall I played a lot, but you know I just couldn't figure out. Yeah, well, that was the thing about those retro games. Yeah, like... They're any more complex than Space Invaders, then it's pretty much pointless if you didn't have the manual on hand. Yeah, because you just didn't know, like, what am I, am I just getting points? Does yeah, there... Commodore 64 was really bad for that, because that was one button controls. I remember playing, like, Creatures 2, and to change weapons you had to hold fire and push down, <laughs> and then press left and right to change your weapon. Just that little, the, the little Atari 2600 stick. Yeah. Just a stick and a button. Uh, this way. Um, so that was, uh, yeah, that was, I mean... The first one we actually, like asked for and wanted and bought for our own was in 89 when we got the Sega Master System 2. You know what, um, I respect the Mastodons, I'm just going to leave him to his shit. They're a noble people, unlike the filthy dwarves. Filthy, filthy, hairy dwarves. Filthy. Don't even know if that's a filthy. beard or a furry cloak he's wearing. God only knows with those disgusting people. God only knows with those disgusting people. <laughs> oh, hey! so this is... This is the not stab one. This is what he's one of the good ones. Look who's here. He's a credit to his race. Yeah, we're gonna kill all your brothers and sisters, by the way. Yeah, that's, that's... get rid of all these fucking katanas we picked up off the weeaboos. Oh, oh yeah, we can sell some crap. We should sell like most of this shit. Like, you never know um, when you're gonna need something. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying get rid of all of it, but surely we don't need like a, a an unleveled whip. <sighs> We might want to use it. <laughs> See, I, I have got, I have this same thing. We got so much fucking shit off the Elon Knights because we had to kill so many of them. <laughs> Endless. Um, I'm gonna sell all their pants. Oh, yeah, okay, we've got a grave was, warden. Mark. What was your least favorite? Least favorite. Um, See, that, I don't think that's a kind of a leap of logic there. Yeah, the first game you ever played and your least favorite game ever? They seem unrelated. I'm guessing really. out of the... I'm going to add out of the early batch, maybe. Because uh, otherwise it's just an odd jump in the question. I can't really remember. I mean, you tend to remember your past fondly. Mm. So I don't, I don't really remember things right. that are just 
Flat out didn't like. Global defense for the master system. That was not a fun game. Well, there was a fruit machine game on the Philips video pack that was kind of shitty. <laughs> And I think there was yeah, a isn't that like the whole point of a fruit machine is you can actually win a thing? Ah! Uh, come back, come back! Oh bugger! Do you get the thing if he falls off and dies? Well, I'm not gonna go down. And that's a shame. Get it? Well, I thought it might like zoom. Ah, oh, yeah, that's right. It wouldn't because it's an item. Oh well. Oh, that was a good swing. I'm really scared of you. Good job, champ. Are you dead? Well, I guess he must be. That's kind of cool. I like that. Maybe we just um, made him very depressed at himself. No, I can't mm. even get this right. Something went in my bum. I chained an anvil to Is a stick. Is he doing stick. the splits? Oh, damn it. I think he was doing the splits. <laughs> Where'd he go? Holy shit. Man, the uh, corpse cleanups crew move fast around these yeah, parts. Bunch of quick mode. Uh, oh, well. Those guys fucking suck. <laughs> they he suck might, at everything. He might have been a friend, we'll never know. Oh. Sorry, buddy. Probably not, though. Ah, uh, fuck you then. Fucking doors of Pharos. Letting the neighborhood down. How long are we? 50 minutes. Question me. Um. What is the most undesirable trait for a human to have from Wonka bottle caps? Um, odd combination of things. A vagina. <laughs> uh, misogyny jokes. All the women can't live with them, can't punch them anymore. No, but seriously. Um. I would say the combination of stupidity and lack of self awareness. See, I don't rate stupidity as a personality trait. Okay. It is, though. Well, no, because. You know, even like low, even even the person that came up with the IQ measure, the whole point was that you could address it and fix it. Like it's a fixable problem. Like, what if you're um, What if you have low intelligence and don't absorb facts very well? Um, uh, even Down syndrome people can learn. Do you think Carl Pilkington could become an intelligent and insightful man, for example? I think he is sort of, just in kind of a very bizarre little way. Like he's got that. Um, so here we are at Butlin's holiday camp. Is somebody going to attack us here, or is this like a nice place? Oh yeah, people will attack the shit out of us here. Oh, okay. The whole villages with pitchforks, shebang. Yeah, because I could see a bunch of people over there, but then the campfire was here, so I was like, oh, maybe these guys are kind of okay. No. Nope. Well, that was a stupid thing to think, really, no, I mean, no, that's... No. Oh, exactly, no. There's only one Majula. Um, I don't know, personality trait-wise, I think it's the worst thing someone can in the basement. Probably, um... Um... You know, actual... I mean, it's called antisocial personality disorder well, these days, but... Well, if we're, that. like, talking about Carl Pilkington, a lack of interest in... Um, and, and lack of curiosity. A lack of interest in learning new things. Are you, like, you hear one thing on the internet and accept it as fact. Well, yeah, that... Uh, that uh, a lack of interest in learning, I think, so... Probably uh, a bit of a genuine hassle. Because if, you, if, if you've got the drive to learn, you can always improve. Yes. And uh, that's that's a slippery slope to becoming a demagogue. Someone who'll just believe whatever is convenient to, to her. Yeah, no, really, your autistic son really is talking through me. <laughs> Have you heard about that? Facilitated communication. No. It's so fucking fucked up. This. That. Wait. It's so got... people are saying that they can, like. What? Well, well, how it's pseudoscience. Like. Yeah. How of it course works. it is. How it works is like a carer, like holds the hand of a person so with, like heavily disabled that they can't with like severe uh, autism yeah severe like, autism who, hardcore, who like... can't communicate with the outside world uh -huh. and then um allegedly guides their hand to point at or type words on a screen oh, all right that's fucking horrible and it's been proven time and time again with double blind trials that it's, <laughs> it's bullshit it's just it's almost like automatic writing they're just a lot of them actually believe well, they have what to, they're yeah, doing I, I, is I believe they believe that. Speaking for the autistic person, yeah. but it's really just automatic writing from them, coming from their subconscious. And there's really fucked up stories of people like being going down for sexual assault because they interpreted their disabled um, caree as uh, being romantically interested in them because of the things they were typing from their subconscious. It's so fucked wow, up. Wow, that got worse. I didn't think that was gonna get worse beyond like the. Oh, well, there's real... an even worse story about someone who interpreted their care uh... he as uh, requesting death. 
and giving them an overdose. <sighs> yeah, there's no way to make that funny. Piggies! Hello! What the? Piggies want me dead. And you see the little piggies playing, having fun. Fuck you, little um, swine. Um, some. yeah, that is fucking awful. That is just terrible. Like, pretending to speak for dead people is low. Pretending to speak yeah. for, like, a locked-in... Because, yeah, I did... I've done days... Um, I've done a few weeks at um, See, a special needs school. Yes. Specifically dealing with, like, the extremely... You know you can get combinations of Downs and severe autism. Oh, blimey. Yeah, or as nature calls that, fuck you. Yeah. Um, or as nature calls it, snake eyes. Yeah, that is a hard roll. Like, I've had one of these kids just basically jump on me, pull my hair, and start hitting me in the head. Um, nice. Yeah, well, that's just... Well, my point is they that... They have no means of communicating. Like, it's... it's my to point sit there is, and be able to talk for him. My point was, in curiosity is the worst personality trait because it is the starting point for all of this shit. Yeah. No, I'd agree with that. It's like, I want to believe we can finally communicate with our children, and so I will accept this, whatever evidence proves it wrong. And believe whatever I need, like, force myself to believe whatever I need to believe to keep in, uh, assuring, my, in assuring myself that what I want to believe is true. And reject all... Evidence to the contrary. That's a bad one. I didn't even hear about that. Yeah, it's in the news lately because uh, someone recently went down. Like their trial recently concluded. Someone got arrested for doing it, or? Uh, yeah, for the, you know the sexual assault thing. All right. So wait. So someone did the person who thought they could interpret them get done for sexual assault? Yes. Right. Okay. So they didn't like convince somebody else that. All right. Okay, that's coming together a little more now. Oh, there have been cases of uh, people uh, being accused of uh, sexual assault and crimes upon the yeah, that... upon the uh, facilitated communicator, uh, based on their accus false accusations coming from the subconscious interpretations of the caregiver, which is equally fucked up. <sighs> But, you know, these usually get thrown out of court because it's fairly obvious fairly quickly that facilitated communication is absolute tosh. Yeah, I see you there. No, 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 no. I think he crushed himself with his own boulder. He really did. What a winner. <laughs> Promotions all round. Good job, you. Oh. Yeah, here they so, come. What's the story behind this mob accounts? No idea. Oh, okay. Well, we'll find out eventually. But uh, it relates to a monster we haven't seen yet. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, you're you and me are on the same on the same page, guy. Salute to you, thanks, champ. Um, Yahtzee, if Mog World were made into a movie, what would your last choice for director, studio, actors for main roles be? From Doomed Last 47. Choice. See, uh, when it I says, yeah, it says last See, when choice, I copied yeah. that, I thought it said first choice. Nope, it says last choice. Last choice is a dumb question. Oh, there we go. Last choice could be literally anyone. Last choice is a homeless man. <laughs> um, Tommy Wiseau. Well, yeah. yeah I think I mean, just... Personally, I think first choice would be the more interesting question. Well, who would be your first choice? Edgar Wright, of course. For director? Yes. And obviously he'd want to bring his usual stable of actors along. You really can see Simon Pegg in there somewhere, can't you? I picture Simon Pegg playing Barry. Because Simon yeah. Pegg is very good at playing genuine anger, but also funny character. I mean, he, he can seem like, you know, really furious about things but also be funny with it yeah, yeah like in like the one bit that sticks in my mind is hot fuzz when he's explaining to his colleagues and getting increasingly exasperated <laughs> of the conspiracy he's seen and someone says so what about such and such and Simon Pink goes actually that's not an example oh it isn't yes, yes, it yes is. of course yes of course it fucking was yes yeah, that bit because uh Barry's very short tempered character mm. uh you guys seem Nick, to have and, the face. Oh, no, and Nick Frost face. for Slippery John. I, I never pictured him as fat. Mm, well, I suppose it doesn't matter. Open to interpretation, really. Uh. Hey! Uh, people who like to have a fun time, why not look up and find out what happens if you come to this particular area in a new game plus? I won't spoil the surprise. Huh. Um, oh, so look. I don't think, I mean, really, does the studio matter? Oh, hmm. look, Philip, the plebs are restless. <laughs> that was 
me being the queen. Stab. Um. Yeah, see. Do you think it's harder to create an idea for a game, book, etc., or put it into words? You put from Zhang Shan Shang Ti again. So that guy's got two questions in this one. What the fuck did that question even mean? Um. Okay. Okay. Like, you, can, okay. You, you can have the idea in your head, but if you had to write a proposal for it, like I'd say, oh. yeah, it's harder to have the proposal well, then. Well, Ooh. yeah. I mean, uh, oh, yeah, gold sculptula. I have a anecdote for this. Oh, okay. Because um, when I was uh, first started working with addicting games on Hatfall, I uh, explained the concept I had in mind for it, and uh, I could tell in the tone of the voice of the, of the guy that. I was really losing him. He was like saying, okay, right, yeah, no, that could be good. Should you use pyromancy? So you've got well, like... we can't target them at present. I mean, oh. I know they're going to come at some point, probably after I go down here. All right, well... This is probably not the best weapon to use, but fuck it. <laughs> so, yeah, I'd say yeah, anyone can sit and have an idea, but putting it into a, you know, a promotional f uh, a format, you then you're communicating to another person. So yeah, I mean, I've had think to... Think about your audience. I've had to write design documents now again, and it's always frustrating how much people don't get until you, you know, explain it, like, 12 more times. Because, mm. you know, it's hard to, can, like, structure your own thoughts that way. Mm. So maybe like a recommendation be show it to a stranger. Yeah, I or find show it, it to a friend. Yeah, I find it best to uh, iterate design documents to a certain extent. Hmm. So if I open this, will you join the party at long last? <laughs> oh, 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 bugger, 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 shit, shit, shit. Ass, 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 burgers. What was that to explode? Probably. Oops, it's full of. Oh, this got. Welcome to Australia. What? <laughs> oh, rad. That was badass. Yeah, I'm, actually, I think Fuck I will. Fuck you. I think I will keep this weapon, actually. Yeah, these uh, are the spoilers. Um, are there ones behind you coming? Oh, probably. Huh. Or not. Yeah, All these right. are the spiders, and these are the things that killed this town. Oh, well, okay. There's a bit of backstory behind it that we haven't... That will come Ooh, into uh, it when we uh, get to the very end of this area. But that's the, that's basically the gist of it. Spiders came and fucked this town up. That would be a shitty fucking day. Well, quite. Just a minute, looking over, is that, like, just 80 giant spiders? Because I have nothing to deal with that. I'm not sure spiders is the right word, actually. I think they've only got six legs. Oh, no, I wasn't looking that closely. I just figured they were spiders because they look like spiders. Ooh, ooh. Could it be Yahtzee kills three bosses in one video? I haven't even played. This has been great. Yeah, I'm doing well. What's your favorite Bond film by Mr. Black Dix? Uh, oh, you only yeah. live twice. Which one was that again? Uh, Sean Connery goes to Japan and becomes a Japanese man. <laughs> Interesting facts. The screenplay for You Only Live Twice was written by Roald Dahl. Didn't he? He used to be in the Secret Service, yes. Yeah. He was a badass. I'm Ow. sure he has some other connection to the yeah, Bond Dick. franchise as well. Uh, I can't I remember, remember what. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just maybe I'm thinking I of the thing you already said. I think he knew Ian Fleming. Fart wave, fart wave, lightning, fucking. All right, this. Ow, ow, shit, shit, bollocks. No, nope. come on, you can do it. This is yeah. This is quite an easy boss fight. It's really just a bunch of guys. Yeah, I don't like the bunch of guys boss fights. I just want to kill these priests that have the hell healing attacks and long distance attacks. Thank you, auto targeting. Thank you, auto targeting. Yeah, pal. Oh, that was rad. You used that to dodge the other dude's thunder. Are they crawlies? Oh, we think we're a hexy motherfucker. See, that was a Prince reference. He did a song called Sexy Motherfucker. Oh. Yep. Hmm. Eat. My. Skids. Get him, get him. Fucking hell. Run away, heal. No, I won't heal. Uh, it's the principle of the thing. Alright. Yay. Yay, Yahtzee. Choo-choo. No stopping the pain train. Yes. I am the pain train in that analogy. <laughs> Woo-woo. 
Got Titanite Slab. There'll be a thing around here we can level up. Well, uh, yeah, I'm gonna find the next bonfire and then that'll be it, I think. So, you didn't get to do much today, Gabriel. Oh, fucking excellent. It's like a day off for me. <sighs> Thought you liked this game. Um, ah, oh, I do. Just playing it with you, like, bouncing around in the corner haranguing me about every goddamn thing is an uphill battle at times. Hello, Mr. Spider. Hello, guy. Is I don't think they're going to attack you. Oh, they have got eight legs. They're just two of them are very small. Huh. They're just the right... I don't... I'm killing him anyway, because I hate okay. spiders. They are assholes. All right. I don't know, that doesn't seem to have aggroed the rest of them, so... Real spiders, they eat flies, so they're alright. Yeah, it's all these fucking spiders <laughs> yeah. you live with! I, I, I just... I'm you not comfortable with your housemates. With a fellow with a bucket on his head. So, do you remember the guy in the cathedral in Dark Souls 1 who forgave your sins? Yeah. This is the I same... I was about to say, he looks same, like... Same sort of uh, service is offered here. Oh, so it's not the same guy? Is it the same guy? I think it's a different guy. Oh. Uh, Harden. So this is this is the guy you go to if you don't want the good NPCs to be mad at you anymore. I think so, yes. Alright. Yeah, bugger off. Fading soul. whoop de fucking do <laughs> It's like finding five cents. You just don't even pick it up anymore. It's like, I don't... I don't need that. It would be fucking... nice if it showed you what the item was. Like, hovered over your head before you picked it up. Um... Fallout 4 does that now. You look at a thing and it'll just tell you what's in there. Yeah. It's a nice treat. If it's a, like a container, isn't it? Mm. Yes, here it is. Hooray! Right! Oh, we didn't even get to read much more of the Eye of Argon then. My bad. I think this has just been one of the most wholesale quality playthroughs that... Like in terms of raw success. If you say so. Yeah, dude, we have not had a, a, a playthrough where we haven't, like, no one's died. Okay. And everyone will probably go, yeah, it's because we told them to put better armor on. We are the best. You did this, internet. You did. Good for you. You have an accomplishment now. Better seek, seek, <laughs> last. <laughs> and we got through the questions. I don't know, actually, no, I didn't think about my Bond film. Um, I, haven't, I don't think I've watched enough in a while to have a good opinion. Well, do you have a favourite Bond set piece or moment that most memorable sticks out in your head? What's the first thing that comes into your head when you think of Bond Golden set eye. pieces? Goldeneye. The tank. The, the tank, tank sequence in Goldeneye. Okay, then. First thing that pops into my head. Um, I quite liked, like, those first... Probably the first two. Gold, a Goldeneye, I think, is a good film. You know, I really enjoyed Pierce Brosnan as, as Bond. I think he mixed a little bit of the... Some of the wackiness by the end of it, but... Um, what a scoop. The golden eyes. And now... War cry. Righty ho. <laughs> like Righty ho, it. listeners. And furthermore... You the man. You the man. You the non... Or the woman. Yeah, you the non-gendered individuals that live in internet land. Or the non-gendered individuals that live in etc. 